This is a bust. Are you sorry motherfuckers up against the wall? If you don't play bite the dust cause in a couple of simple fucking phrases I'm gonna hip you to the fucking plays of the brand new mad style cause these are the days of wild. Hit me! <laughs> if ever one track summed up the spirit, excitement and new direction Prince took in 1994 it has to be Days of Wild. A song so damn funky, so damn cool, that the studio version still remains unreleased. Originally intended for the Gold Experience album, Days of Wild was left off the album without explanation. It's possible that Prince felt the studio version just paled in comparison with the live versions, which were full of energy, bravado and atmosphere. The track was premiered live in February 1994 at Paisley Park, and was included on the Beautiful Experience TV special. A performance famous for the fact that Prince decided and convinced Mr Hayes that it would be a great idea to shave his head during the live performance. How Mr Hayes continues to play whilst Prince butchers his hair is true professionalism. Another live performance of the track appeared on the Love for One Another TV special put together for VH1 and broadcast in January 1996. Eventually a live version was released on Prince's Crystal Ball album in 1998. This live recording was taken from a one-off performance at Paisley Park on the 9th of December 1995. Days of Wild was also released as a live single, recorded in June 2002 on the One Night Alone tour and initially given out on the final night of the Xenophobia celebration, a run of shows that took place at Paisley Park. It was then made available to purchase online and at shows. And that's enough about its history. Let's talk about this crazy motherfucking track. This was Prince in full on bravado mode, showing off his rapping in a track that was a dig at gangster rap and all that comes associated with it. Guns, drugs and the disrespectful treatment of women. Here Prince celebrates women and elevates them higher, as he so often did throughout his life and career. Hook a bitch and hoe? I don't think so. I only knew one that never told her though. I thought about it many times. Diss me? That's the kind of shit that makes you check your mind. Is your blood type the type that flows? Or is your blood type the type just stereo? A woman every day should be thanked. Not disrespected, not raped or spanked. And if a woman ever said I did, she's a motherfucking liar and I'm a set up kid. I can tear shit up y'all cause that's my style. These are the days of wild. This track is quite possibly the most profanity laden in Prince's catalogue. But it's not just swearing for swearing's sake, or for shock value. Prince is showing on one hand to the gangster rap scene that you can use this language in music but still bring a positive message, whilst also at the same time taking a bit of a swipe at them for their use of it and the whole absurdity and futility of that lifestyle. Pop guns and weed, brother please, we're too wise now since the other 90s were better suited for that biz, back when dick was fucking Liz. Before so the pop had fizz. Don't blame it on a jockstrap full of jizz. Mentality so insane. I got a Tech 9 2 and it's called my brain. Shoot another brother, not today. Prince also makes reference to the stereotypical way they look and dress whilst defending his own stance and appearance. Tennis shoes and caps, now that's fat. Up until the day another wants to laugh behind your back. Saying we all look the same. God bless America, home of the brave. I'd rather dress to make a woman stare. I'm putting on something that another won't dare. It's freezer burn compared to cool. And if you still got loot, then who's the fool? Prince, of course, had taken a swipe at rap music back in the late 80s with the track dead on it, in a more humorous jibe at the run-of-the-mill rappers trying to muscle in on his territory by trying to sing. But by the early 90s, Prince had begun to embrace rap and hip-hop elements in his music picking out the best bits while tossing the bones to the side. Days of Wild is a clear indication of this change as Prince takes these elements to the next level in a blistering bombastic explosion of funk and rap full of heavy bass guitar, driving drums and incredible attitude. 
there have been some incredible live versions released, some official, some not. The Crystal Ball version has a great call and response section with Prince chanting the Free the Slave in reference to his battle with Warners. Let me hear ya! Free the Slave! Uh, come on, everybody! It also has some stinging bass sections as the track breaks down. <laughs> There is a crazy bootleg soundboard recording with Prince giving a truly blistering guitar solo that's just remarkable. Days of Wild was an instant fan favourite, going down a storm every time Prince performed it. Most artists would give anything to have a handful of Stonewall fan favourite live tracks, and yet here Prince achieved it without ever releasing the studio track to the general public. Such was his talent and his connection with his community. Just incredible. Days of Wild is a really important track and a yardstick moment during this evolutionary period as Prince went from being well, Prince, to the symbol. It sums up this period perfectly with all the attitude, new sound and look that define the Gold Experience era. The fact that the only released versions of Days of Wild were live performances just helps to encapsulate all the excitement that the hardcore fans who stood by Prince during his time witnessed. I think you'll agree it's a stomping pick of the week and hopefully one day we'll get to see the studio version released too. But for now, just go back turn it up loud and let those memories come flooding back of the time when following Prince the days were wild. Hold on to your wigs!